Hello and welcome. I'm Dom Hale for Australia's Mining Monthly and Mining Magazine. I'm here today with Corey Jensen, Executive Vice President of Sales and Business Development of McClanahan Corporation. McClanahan is a global provider of processing solutions across multiple industries, including mineral processing. Today, Corey will be discussing improvements in filter press maintenance and how innovation is helping make these processes safer and more efficient. Corey, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you, Dominic. Corey, I want to kick things off by asking you about filter press maintenance, which has long been one of the more time-consuming and hazardous aspects of tailings operations. From McClanahan's perspective, what gaps or challenges stood out as priorities for innovation in this area? Yeah, we um, we've done a lot of filter presses and tailings, and you know, me personally, I've been involved in it for about twenty years. And over the years, I've seen a lot of people struggling to change filter clods, either having to climb inside the machines or climb on top of these big machines. Um, some of the systems that um, competitors were launching had, say, cranes required to change something that weighs, you know, two, three, five kilograms. And you know, this was kind of being run as a, a quick system. And we just thought, you know, this seems like it's not making sense. There's got to be an easier way to change a filter cloth. So we started brainstorming, uh, looking at different ideas for how we could remove a filter cloth. And that's where we came up with the quick change, which was initially started with just the idea that we wanted to be able to change the filter cloth without getting inside of the machine and without getting on top of the machine and we wanted to be able to do it in a couple minutes so that was the challenge we were brainstorming and then uh, we ended up being able to do better than that and uh, you know it was quite fun just to go through that process and realize oh we're on to something here we can now do this and you know the machine can be stopped one two minutes swap out the cloth and you know you're back and going and you didn't have to send somebody clear up on top of the machine get a crane in place you know all those things that take time and you know add a lot of steps uh to the process so understood so uh, with regard to those technologies that are emerging in response to the pain points um several solutions have emerged to tackle the challenges but how does mclanahan in partnership with Diefenbach? position that quick change system within that evolving landscape? Yeah, I would say the the general trend has been to move towards uh, using cranes and to pull out batches of, say, five or 10 cloths. So you're, you're positioning a crane, which is, you know, generally never a fast process. You're hooking that up to five or 10 cloths. You're either pulling out the cloths and the plates at the same time having to set them down to the side of the machine, lift up a whole nother batch. What is revolution about the quick change is you can do one cloth at a time. You don't need a crane. You don't need any special lifting equipment. And you can slide the cloths in and out of the press without climbing inside the machine or without getting on top of the machine. So it's really, um, you know, the, one of the biggest pain points we see with customers who are changing cloths in batch processes of five or 10 is you're throwing away a lot of good cloths to do that. And you're kind of going through campaigns of changing cloths. So rather than just addressing the problem and getting additional wear life out of the cloths that haven't failed, you're, you're replacing a whole batch at a time. So, you know, the quick change eliminates a lot of the wasted material uh, gets you longer life out of those other filter clods that weren't bad because you're just changing the one that has failed. Understood. And of course, it's not just about efficiency. It's about protecting the people on the ground. So beyond improving maintenance speed, you know, that safety is a, a critical focus for operators. How does the quick change system contribute to reducing risks for workers during that filter cloth? replacement? Yeah, so um, some of the primary risks that you'd be looking at is if you have to get inside a, an enclosed space, so you're getting inside the machine, or if you're getting on top of the machine working at height, 
um, you still need it. There still are some safety precautions that you need to take like you would in any uh, maintenance operation but we've significantly reduced the risk versus having to climb on top of a machine or inside of a machine while you do that operation. So that's, you know, to us, um, a big um, bonus to the quick change is just being able to do it all standing to the side of the filter press um, without having to send people up on top or, or climb inside the machine. In many ways, those safety improvements often go hand in hand with sustainability gains, which are clearly an increasing priority across tailings management. How does Quick Change support operators in reducing material waste at the same time as improving operational efficiency? Yeah, I mean, as I mentioned before, um, generally when you're looking at your filter cloths as they fail, they don't all fail in batches of five or 10 or 20 cloths. So if your process currently is to change out five or 10 or 20 cloths because you're trying to stay ahead of it, then you are wasting a lot of good filter media and you're spending a lot of money in addition to just, you know, the waste that you're, the extra waste that you're generating by throwing away those cloths prematurely. The, the other side of it is, uh, a lot of operators don't have a good handle on which cloth has failed. Along with the quick change, um, we're pushing open filtrate discharge, which basically shows the water coming out of each plate rather than returning all the water in a tailings application out the end of the machine. An operator can walk along the machine and in a couple minutes they can see, oh, that filter cloth is bad because they say dirtier water coming out of that specific plate when they the machine stops to discharge, they can replace just that one cloth. So a lot of the current machines that you see out there, the operators are kind of guessing, they think there's a failed cloth in this area. It takes too long to specifically identify it. So they're doing these big batches of cloths that they're wasting, you know, good cloths. Um, I could show you many machines where we do have an open filtrate discharge and they'll have a cloth that's three years old next to a cloth that's, you know, six months old. And, you know, if you're prematurely changing filter cloths, you know, you're probably spending 30, 50% more uh, money just throwing away cloths way before they failed. The, the other side of it is um, if you're not changing the cloths at the correct time, you damage the filter plates and then you're into a much more costly repair. The filter media is what's taking all the wear because that's what's in contact with the solids and then the water comes through the filter cloth runs along the pips in the plate uh, the time that you damage the filter plate is if you don't change the cloths in the correct you know time and that's why some of these mines are doing these batch changes to try and stay ahead of it but it's kind of a guessing game so what we think is the best combination for sustainable and most high efficient uh, operation of a tailings filter press is to have that combination of the quick change with an open filtrate discharge. So as the cloths fail, you quickly see um, as your operators are doing their routine inspections, yep, here's a cloth that's failed, mark it. Next time the press opens, you're stopped for a couple minutes, you swap out the cloth and away you go. You're running again, you've protected the filter plate. You haven't wasted five or 10 cloths next to that one that failed and you know you you keep going understood so cumulatively these advancements point to a broader shift in industry expectations looking ahead how do innovations like quick change help the mining industry meet rising expectations from regulators investors and communities around tailings facility performance yeah i think um Tailings management has become a, a critical point uh, for most mines and their mine planning. I think more than what are you going to extract as your ore, I think the regulators are more focused on what are you going to do with the tailings and what's going to be left after you're done mining. So going to dry stack tailings, I think, is a very big shift um, that is gaining a lot of momentum and we're seeing it across uh, all scales of mines from the very small mines to the very large mines 
are all talking about this and there's lots of uh installations going in all over the world from you know a broad range of competitors uh, to support this movement well look thank you corey for some really interesting insights there today i've been speaking with corey jensen executive vice president of sales and business development at the mcclanahan corporation i'm dom hale thanks for watching